Muscle Gerbil plays Cuphead. Episode 1. The House Always Wins. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and, despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose! Nice run, boys! laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now! How about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches. Nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead! No! Cried Mugman, for he understood the danger. But it was too late! Snake eyes! Laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls! The brothers pleaded for their very lives. The, there must be another w w way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, p -p please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is. The devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect the souls for me, that I might just pardon you two mugs. Now get going! The devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! panted Cuphead. We have to find Elder Kettle! He'll know what to do! What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into! I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts. And you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your dead of friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Hello everyone, and welcome to Muscle Gerbil Plays Cuphead. Ah, Cuphead. Widely renowned for being incredibly difficult. It's a classic style run and gun shooter sprinkled with boss battles that have many different forms. It's one of those games where it's all about 
quick reaction times, and pattern recognition. I'm always up for a challenge, so let's head over to the inkwell. We're gonna have ourselves a little tutorial, it seems. Alright, the tutorial. Alright, you got your duck. Got it. Yeah, tap for short jump, hold for high jump, got it. And we can dash. And we can descend. Got the little finger guns. Pew, pew, pew! Alright, you got your eight-way shooting, Contra style. I like that. Oh, parry. Oh. I see. So it's kind of like do a double jump on a pink thing to, to parry it. Looks like we don't have a double jump, but you do the double jump motion to parry. Alright, we got some super moves. Alright, we have successfully made it through the tutorial without dying. I'm gonna call this victory. All right, old man Kettle. I'll see you later. All right, we've got an overworld. Oh, I can move freely in the overworld. I'm not locked on a uh, Super Mario style, Super Mario World path. That's cool. I can equip stuff with triangle, but I don't really have anything, so... Just for the future. Oh, that apple boy has a bite taken out of him. Oh, I can talk to him. Well, hey, fellas. Looks like you're in for a dowie. Eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just scrolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Oh, sweet. Three gold coins. I'll take that. Thank you, Apple Boy. Oh, I got a shop already. Pork Rides Aborium. What you got for me? Got a new way to shoot stuff? Or that's a, a, the special move, okay. Extra hit point, but weakens attack power, no thank you. Ooh, spread shot. Wow, they're gonna give me spread shot already? Hmm. Won't take damage during a dash. And then another special move. I think we're gonna get my spread shot. Alright, well, we're out of money. You've got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums! Alright, we're gonna put that on shot B. Ah, uh, okay. Now, how do I change between them? I guess we'll find that out. What's this? I think that's a boss battle. I'd rather have a stage to get my bearings. Okay, a run and gun stage. Forest Follies. Alright, I switch weapon with L1. 
Oh, you can change on the fly. That's nice. So that's Contra 3 style. Oh, I've already taken damage. Great. Alright, this is good for cannon fodder. The spread shot is probably going to be more useful on bosses. Okay, I can parry that. Ooh, that was close. Let's dash over that thing. Alright, looks like parrying is going to be super important. Oh, wow, they just... They're just throw they throw everything at you in the first level already. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that thing. Oh, each shot gives you a different EX move. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh oh I'm dead already. Oh, it was right at the end, too. All right, then. Death number one of more than likely many. Oh, no checkpoints in the levels, it seems. That's great. Ah, one of those get good games. No, oh, I want to parry that. Ah. I'll parry the other things. Got crazy mushrooms, crazy plants. It's a botanist nightmare. Alright, I gotta learn my parry timing a little bit better. Oh, I meant to not drop down. Okay. Oh, and I'm dead again. All right. Two deaths on the first level. All right, the uh, claims of this game's difficulty might not have been exaggerated. Or I'm just garbage at the moment. Ooh, that was that was way too close. But it's just got to memorize the levels and enemy layouts. And their attack patterns. Just gotta keep getting those coins. Ooh, ooh. Aha, parried. Gonna use my big attack on this thing. Oh, okay, I'm not immune while I use... Alright, one more hit and I'm done. Oh, did not... I meant to dash, not use my super move. Okay. Fourth time's a charm. I don't know why I stopped firing, too. Just just gonna keep firing. Okay, parrying gives you a super... a super move. So parrying is gonna be very important.
I'm gonna try and build up as many super moves as I can. And I gotta remember to dash. And I probably don't need to kill everything, but... Man, that thing takes a lot of shots. Yes, we made it. Level one complete. That was tough. All right, how do we do? A plus. Golly, a perfect score. All right, A plus the first level after four tries. I'm going to call that a victory. Ah, you got to beat levels to unlock new paths. Okay. All right, let's go for a little adventure here. See what we got. We have five coins now. Let's go back to the shop. Do I want the smoke bomb? I feel like with as much stuff as they're going to start throwing at me in this game, that'd be a wise investment. Ooh, automatic parry? Alright, we're going to save up for that. Now, is that a passive upgrade, or do I have to actually... I have to equip them, and you can only have one at once. Okay. I see. It, you would probably be super OP if you could equip multiple. What do we got here? Botanic Panic. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's a giant potato. Ooh, ooh, stop, stop shooting dirt at me. Uh, oh, I could have sworn I got that parry off, but. Oh, he's an onion now. Oh, don't cry, onion. Oh, I missed, I missed a parry. And I missed another one, great. All right, we've had potato and onion. Oh, it's a carrot with crazy eyes. Oh, what was, what? He's got psychic mind powers. All right. It's a good thing I bought that dash power. This is one tough carrot. Got him. Oh, that, that carrot was coming in to murder me. Well, I'm not getting the... Hit point bonus. Or the parry bonus. Oh, a B. Yeah, a B for the first time playing that boss is pretty good. Hey, all right, I got my first soul. 
Soul stealing and loan sharking. Kind of a dark theme for such a bright and colorful game. What's this shady character doing? Huh? I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah back in the bank, say. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place, too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around, may I say. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. You see? Alright, shady coin guy, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you later. Well, we got our first level out of the way. Got an A-plus on the run and gun. Took down our first boss. Got our first soul. Only with a B. Uh, we're going to learn the ins and outs of this game. And we're going to tackle some more levels and hopefully some more bosses next time. <laughs>